What is up my people? This is the last autocross of the year, sadly. Um, this coming week I fly out to Pennsylvania, I'm there for about a week, come back for about a week, then I go to Florida for a week, and then I go overseas. So, uh, no more racing, I'm going to try and get a couple parts in before I go. I want to get the racing line, uh, stud conversion, and their oil cap, and I need I think that ABS sensor from when I replaced the hub and all, I think that sensor's bad. So I, I want to do that too. But uh, there ain't much time left. And uh, we were actually, we went to Amarillo last night, stayed the night. There it was like 10 o'clock at night. They canceled the event due to high winds and being cold as shit today. Um, over there, I think the high today is like mid 40s uh, with like 30 degree winds. 30 mile hour winds, the wind chills like makes it like low 30s. So we decided, and that's like an hour and a half drive from where we live. So we had decided to go down to Roswell for autocross conveniently on the same day. And it's a four hour drive from Amarillo to Roswell and then like an hour and a half, two hour drive back home from Roswell. So and then I gotta be at work at midnight. But uh, we got a whole crew of people with us. <laughs> You can hear the, hear the blow-off valve there. My buddy's uh, Turbo Miata. Things freaking dope. It's his first track day in that car. And then uh, Kaylin's here. We got the pup with us. She's in our M3. We got Eric in his uh, his Civic. And I don't know who else is going to be there. But we, get to, we normally got the Turbo Civic. The white one, Roy. And then the uh, Turbo MR2. Charles. The other Charles. This is a Charles too. So it should be a good turnout. It's going to be cars and coffee. It's also at 62 degrees, 63 degrees right now, so we're just going to go up to 81 today in Roswell. Like I said, the high in Amarillo is pretty low today, so it's definitely the better pick when it comes to temperature uh, for being comfortable-wise, but it should be an exciting day. I'm going to go hard since it's the last map of the year, the last track day of the year. We won't, me and her are actually both deploying about the same, she leaves like the week before I do, but both be back around early to mid-March, right when the season begins. So that'll be exciting. We'll both have a ton of parts waiting for us. I plan on having seats, uh, the bigger infotainment screen, the digital dash, big brake kit, brake lines, brake rotors, brake pads. Um, and if I can finagle it, I'll have a built head ready to go in. I'll just have to find time to get it installed. I need to redo my lower timing chain cover because it leaks oil, uh, fluid amper pulley as well since the cover's coming off, the pulley's got to come off, might as well do it. We'll have a new timing chain kit while we're in there. Uh, I'm going to do a high ROS fuel pump, upgrade my injectors to like the 1200ccs up for my like 925s. we got a, a bunch of shit in plan but we'll see how it really turns out when time comes. I really want seats as well. I really want the Mark 6R wing backs. But that's neither here nor there. Months away from doing all that. But uh, there, we're coming up to our exit. I'll talk to you guys when we get to the event. Now, not all the cars I just showed you are racing. About half of them. They do like a Cars and Coffee and Autocross at the same time now. Down here at uh, Alien Way Raceway. Right? Alien Alien City, Roswell. Either way. Um, got a decent amount of people racing. The temperature is creeping up. I am like not dressed. I was ready for Amarillo weather. It was supposed to be cold and it is warm down here. I need to take off this long sleeve. But did two practice runs. Uh, I'll put the map up here. It looks a little weird on paper, especially up make a circle come down well not a circle hairpin hairpin up hairpin down hairpin up hairpin down hairpin end so like the the first like going up there is like a long straightaway i'm hitting third gear slamming on the brakes in the corner it's pretty fun um doesn't seem like it's a terribly long course i'd say maybe high 30s about about there um they don't have the timers on yet but we're about to start our timed runs i believe we get five 
plus the two practice runs. And we got Kaylin here in the M3 with struts are blown and the car's pretty much stock. But she's out here whipping it one last time with the way it is. Um, when we get back from our deployments, it'll be, I'm trying to talk her into BC coils, but she wants something else. We'll see, but it needs, it needs coilovers, it needs wheels, it needs tires. Those are the, the first things. And probably like an upgraded radiator, some headers, a tune, but no. Uh, on my test runs, car felt great. Car felt real good. I'll get her to get some clips. Of course, I got the GoPro I'll set up here on the on the side and the top. So I'm gonna quit talking and uh, get the GoPro ready. So far, so great. Don't mind me, I got a mouthful of sunflower seeds, but did four out of five runs. I'm to go check my times. When I looked after the third run, I was in first place by like a second and a half, I believe. So it's doing pretty good. Her car's running great, my car's running great. Other than me missing third gear a bunch. Trans doesn't want to let me in today, I don't know why. It's whatever. This last lap I did, all in like second, first and second. I didn't go into third at all, so I think I, Hitting the rev limiter quite a bit, but I think that might save me some time rather than going in the third and then having to downshift twice to the corner. So we'll uh, we'll go check it out. Get a couple clips of her car, move the GoPro a little bit, and uh, maybe get some of these other guys because they're going out there and going crazy on their last laps, spinning out and stuff. It's pretty entertaining. She's running great though. I mean, it's a Mabo tune. I don't care what you guys say about Frank. This car's running phenomenally. It's proof right here. Oh, you want me to go there? No, you're, it's good. You're good. <laughs> Hey Bubba, what do you think? Hmm? What do you think? <laughs> Jay Z. What do you think, Bobs? Yeah, got a What do you think? Uh -oh. Good day? My dad has a Bubba? Jay Z. Look here. What do you think?
race cars for the day. Then you got us back here. We missed the cutoff for the picture. Goddamn button. Appreciate it. Um, in uh, first place in the pro class, we got Bryce. Hey. 4482. That's one hell of a lot, guys. Try. Hey. Second. Go back to your pro events. <laughs> second place. Uh, Salty second. We got Roy Stevenson. Uh, 4641. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Woo! Second. Twelfth of a second off. In third, the bastard, the other Charles. You suck too. Yeah, <laughs> suck too. They'll get you next time, Roy. Don't you worry. Got a 46.54. Nice. And yeah. I'm the other Charles. Hi. And I got a 46.67 in fourth. And Hiram got a 48.36 in fifth. All right. Well, you guys just seen the results there. Wound up snagging first. I got a 44, eight something. I think the second place after that was like a 46 and something. It was like a second and a half or 1.8 seconds or so in between. I don't know how I managed that, but uh, the car performed great. And uh, Jay-Z had a good time with everybody. Didn't you, Baba? Didn't ya? Got all the love, all the attention. Everybody just loves him. All right, get down. Anyway. Last event of the season. Uh, now we both deploy out here in a couple of weeks, so it's a good way to end it. She wound up third and intermediate out of, I forget how many people were in that, like 13 people in that class, I think. So she beat out some nice, she beat out a brand new STI, a um, bunch of stuff, a bunch of cars. I think she only got beat out by a Mustang and something else. So for a car with junk tires and blown struts, she did goddamn well, and I'm super proud. And next year we'll get the. Uh, some BC, or not. she wants KW, some KW coils, uh, I think arc something wheels, some Nitto, triple fives, a bunch of stuff coming for that car. But the season's end and we'll just see how things go next year. Uh, huge shout out Frank Mabo for the tune. Uh, car's been running great all year, no matter what you've seen on the internet. Frank's, uh, he's treated me well. He's done very good, at least and my perspective from my corner and the way my car is performing, 10 out of 10. Shout out to BC Racing, 034, uh, suspension bitch, racing line, keeping the, the intake stuff nice and free, free flowing and the intake temps down and the catch can keep me from blowing oil all through the head and stuff. So racing line, gotta love them. Uh, EQT Turbo, uh, wouldn't be doing this without them. They. Uh, that turbo is the shit. It's been doing great all year, or since I put it in this year, it's it's been phenomenal. And uh, Precision Raceworks for the fueling. Uh, shout out to my boy Brandon for uh, Federal hookup. I'm not running Federals right now, but when I was, so shout out to him and to uh, the Ferraris up there in Portales and HF Motorsports. Helped me work on the car this year, getting the clutch in and random other miscellaneous things on my car and then getting the, the subframe reinforced and whatnot on her car. Um, our cars wouldn't be doing what they're doing without them. So, huge shout out to everybody that's uh, supported the channel, you guys, this year. We're just gonna hit, we should hit 2,000 subscribers before I head overseas. And uh, the channel's, I think, doubled and then some since this time last year. So, let's hope for the same thing next year. Hopefully, we'll be sitting about 4,000 subscribers this time next year. Uh, we'll be getting some merch going. 
uh, when I get back from this deployment, the car will be paid off, so I'll be able to dump a bunch of money in the car, into the channel, do some giveaways, all types of stuff planned for next year. Um, this is, like I said, this is probably like the last real video. I might have some parts coming in before I go. We'll see if I have time to even make a video or install them. Be tons of stuff going on come March. I might take my laptop with me overseas and my uh, hard drive and then just do some like compilation videos or something like stuff that went on over the past season and whatnot. But I got plenty of awards that I put up on the wall this year. A couple of uh, fastest time of the days between Roswell and Amarillo. Definitely, uh, definitely a real good year. Now next year I gotta step it up even more. The car seems pretty freaking dialed. I don't really want to change too much um, when it comes to suspension geometry, but the car could definitely be stiffer and lose quite a bit of weight, and it needs to get corner balanced and then uh, realigned back to the way it is right now. So there's there's all types of things going on, but weight loss is definitely a big thing. LSD uh, braking all around needs to be upgraded, um, and then some. Some stuff that I want, like the screens and shifter and lots of things. So just keep an eye on the channel, keep an eye on Instagram. You'll see what's coming up and going down and left and right. But yeah, this is the end. Now here I got some bonus clips at the end. They let us hoon around there at the end. I I didn't, but the other guys did. So check out these clips if you want. And uh, thanks for watching the channel this year. I appreciate it. We'll be back full force uh, March 2020. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the football. Happy. There we go.